Well, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another haul video because I can't get enough of hauls apparently. No, I, I, uh, I bought a bunch of stuff kind of all at once around the time of my birthday a few weeks ago um, because of a bunch of sales that were going on and I'm kind of stocked up on stuff um, pretty much for the whole year. Uh, I usually do it once or twice a year where I just buy a bunch of stuff just to stock up so that way I have backups and if I run out of something I don't have to worry about ordering it in again, um, which is easy and uh, being in lockdown where you can't go to any physical stores right now, uh, it was a lot easier for me to order it online. So I have a hair and makeup collective haul here uh, from two places. It's not a huge amount of a collective haul really because uh, it's only two places. However, um, I needed some stuff, hair stuff, and uh, ColourPop actually had a sale uh, going on like a month ago, and every, like a lot of stuff was like 50% off, so I kind of took advantage of that. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's get right into it. So uh, the first part of this haul is going to be makeup from ColourPop. I recently got into ColourPop. It took me a really long time. I got itchy nose. It took me a really long time to um, start purchasing from ColourPop because they're American, obviously, and it... The exchange rate is not super great. However, if you can catch ColourPop on a sale, and if you buy, I think it's over like $60, it's free international shipping. And they do a thing where you can choose to pay all of the duties. I think you choose easy. No, no, I think with ColourPop, you don't choose. They'll charge you all of the duties all at once when you check out, so you're not gonna get any extra charges um, when your package arrives to you, which is great because then you're not surprised with duties or taxes or anything when it arrives. It's a little bit pricey um, for the affordable makeup brand. Um, however, if you can catch it on like a 50% off sale or 60% off sale, I think this one was up to like 75%, you can get really good deals and they, they do end up being about a drugstore price tag Canadian. So this is from a Canadian girl's perspective, uh, East Coast Canadian girl too. Like I live in Newfoundland, so it's like an island. So it's like the hardest place other than like Northern to get stuff shipped to. So I ordered this about a month ago. It took about four weeks, three or four weeks to get to me. So this is old stuff. It's not on sale anymore. I will, I will tell you this right now. I don't get stuff quickly here. So this stuff is not on sale anymore. So if you want to check out anything that they have, you're going to have to go to the website and kind of like pay full price if you want it right now or wait for another sale. So without further ado, let's get into my ColourPop stuff. So first of all, can we, can we see how beautiful the ColourPop shipping boxes are? <laughs> They're really, really nice. So a few weeks, well, I think it was around January. ColourPop released a cotton candy collection and I loved it. I thought it was super cute. I love the stars all over everything for it. Um, this is the Cloud Spun Pressed Powder Palette. It is a beautiful, beautiful pink toned palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really like ColourPop's formula when it comes to the nine pans. This ended up being about, I think it was like 12 or $13 Canadian. Um, without taxes or duties put into it. So I figure I would take advantage of that sale that they had on this, on uh, some nine pan palettes and took advantage of it. So I picked up that palette. I also picked up a, a blush, a pressed powder blush from that collection. Again, look at the stars, they're just super cute. Can you tell I really like, I really like stars. <laughs> I love stars, I think stars are great. This one actually has a little bit of a, like um. Uh, the name of it has a little bit of a memory thing for me. It's called Truffle Shuffle. One of Tyler's favorite movies ever is uh, The Goonies. And this is, that's what, you know, the dance chunk does is they tell him to do the Truffle Shuffle. So it's this really beautiful, like pink, you can barely see it, like a little pale pink toned. I, I feel like it would look really natural on the skin. Like it, that's blended out. Like it looks super natural. Just that light flush over your cheek so you don't look like you have a, uh, like a stripe across your cheek. Super cute packaging. It's got like a magnetic closure, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, so I picked that up. The third thing I picked up, when this came out last late last year, I loved this palette, but I was like, I can't justify 
purchasing it because you have to purchase so much at ColourPop to get free shipping internationally. Um, but this went on sale for 50% off as well. And this is the Baroque palette from the Baroque collection. And can we say it's so beautiful. It's this like smoky, it's a beautiful smoky, cool tone. I'll just choose a few there. Cool tone, like really pretty, really, really pretty palette. I gotta grab a tissue, hang on. <laughs> um, it's a really pretty cool tone, smoky palette that I really loved the look of. This one and Grandeur, I think it was, was the other one I liked, but I think Grandeur was sold out, but Baroque was still there. So I picked that up as well. And they actually had their uh, Disney designer collection on sale, part of the sale too. And I, if you know me at all, you know I love Disney, specifically Disney princesses. Um, I cosplay as Anna and Esmeralda, um, and I absolutely, absolutely love them and when these when I saw that these were on sale I, I kind of had to pick them up the last time I tried to pick them up they were sold out which made me very sad um, but they just so happened to be in the sale for 50% off so this is the Disney designer collection the princess the original princess palette it's just a neutral a fairly neutral palette that is kind of you know but it, I mean I bought it for the packaging for Disney stuff but it's a neutral palette it'd be great for honestly it'd be great for traveling because it is so neutral, but it's still got a little bit of that smoky, it's got a little bit of a smoky aspect to it, which is nice because then you could really take it traveling. You can get a lot of looks out of it. And the packaging is all these, like um, the designer, like they made the princesses, they hired designers to make the princesses different dresses that suit their personalities, but in a modern way. So I picked that one up. And uh, they also had the Midnight Masquerade palette. And this one is, they added more princesses into it, but it's all like evening gowns. And the palette itself is quite a bit more like a, a, a nighttime look, I guess. Still very neutral, but you get like the two pressed glitters, you get more of a darker, deeper colors to it, which makes it look more of a, an evening style of palette. You could still travel with this, but I think the other one was more versatile for day to night looks. This one is more so like a nighttime palette. So that was all I got from the ColourPop sale. I think all of those came out to around $100 Canadian total with duties everything in. Um, it wasn't overly expensive. It ended up, I think I got five things. So it ended up being on average like 20 bucks a pop, which could be a lot. Like it's not as affordable in Canada as it is in the States. My goodness, I got like a big cowlick on the side of my head here. I really need a haircut. I'm so excited. We're going level four so I can get my haircut. Which is not as affordable as it is in the States as it like, it's not as affordable in Canada. And it's just to be aware of that, like everything they have is in US dollars. So when you're ordering in Canada for it to ship here, um, duties and sh duties and taxes can be quite a bit and to be aware that it's all in United States dollars which currency right now is not the greatest it's better than it was but it's still not the greatest all right so moving on I also placed an order through a Canadian hair company it's they run a bunch of salons it's like a it's like a national uh hair care hair company that runs salons so they carry a bunch of products but whenever they have sales their sales are astronomically amazing like they they do a lot of sales all year round and I like to take advantage of it when they have sales on because you can get liters for like 15 bucks which is much it ends up being cheaper than what the drugstore brands are and they're a lot better product and where my hair is colored it's not the greatest right now but where my hair is colored I have colored my hair for 20 years now I started when I was like 14 I'm 34 now so yeah it's about 20 years I've been coloring my hair and I feel the salon brands tend to take care and and elongate the length like my color is lumen so it doesn't it doesn't really go away <laughs> but um, it kind of keeps it vibrant for longer so I do like to take advantage of sales through this company uh, I might as well tell you the company though the company is that uh, chatters so uh, there are a couple salons here that you can go to Newfoundland where I live and um, but because we've been in lockdown for the past month um, I haven't been able to go to any of them and a lot of the time 
Chatters has better deals online and more selection online than they do in the salons themselves. So I took advantage of a sale and uh, this is what I got. So uh, the first thing I got is a wet brush. I've never used a wet brush. This is the Wet Brush Pro. I've never used a wet brush detangler before, but I have found my hair is getting tangled. I The brush that I have, I've had for like seven years, so it's getting grody and gross and I, I need to throw it away. It's disgusting. I actually need to get a new round brush too. But this one, the, this one was on sale, I think for half, half price. This is the uh, Maleficent one. Uh, Wet Brush partnered with Disney and they did a bunch of Disney princesses. Originally I wanted the Anna one, but the Anna one, it's very hard to find the Anna one now from Frozen 2 because I cosplay as her. So I have this connection there that I like, I, I want a wet brush with Anna on it. <laughs> but so this is the Maleficent one. It says Vicious on it. It's um, a detangler one. Um, I have never used these before, but I've heard that these work quite well with detangling without pulling on your hair. And I have very fine, well, color treated hair. So I, I like to use a gentler brush before I blow dry. I blow dry using um, a round brush, which gives me a little more volume on top. Because my hair is so fine, I don't have a lot of volume. So uh, I picked this up, it was half price, and I was like, you know what, take advantage of it. I need a new brush anyways, so. I did it. The next thing I got is uh, both Tyler and I use hairspray in our hair. Tyler uh, likes to style his, he's got like a little faux hawk mohawk going on. So he styles his hair with like a wax and then puts hairspray on it just to hold it in place. And his hair is very thick. My hair is very fine. So we both use hairspray in our hair. So I picked up this Schwarzkopf Professional Osis Plus Stronghold Pump Spray, Freeze Pump Medium Control. I mean, it's, I've used it before. It's really nice. Again, super cheap, so I picked it up. I also picked up the Bedhead Tiggy Lightheaded Flexible Hold Hairspray. This is actually a smaller packaging than it used to be in, but it's compressed, so it lasts as long with 56% less packaging, which I'm really happy about. Like, I like that there, it's less to throw away, it's less to end up in a landfill. It's nice to have less packaging but it's a hairspray. So it's a lighter hold hairspray, which I think is gonna be nicer for me specifically because I kind of like that toast hold look with the little volume on top. I also picked up this. This is the Alterna Caviar Style Concrete Extreme Definition Clay. This is for Tyler. Tyler likes clay, clay waxes. Like we've been going to Winners and we've been picking up a lot um, from Winners lately, but this one was on sale for about the same price as we usually pay for something for one from Winners. So I, I picked it up for him just so he has something that in case we're in lockdown and he runs out again, he has an, a backup so he can just move on to this one. So I picked it up. We'll see how he likes it. I'm also on the last legs of my hair mask. I'm currently using the Matrix Biolage Color Last hair mask. So I needed, I wanted to get a new one. And again, because we're in lockdown, I don't know how long it's going to be before I can, again, get to Winners to have a look. So I picked up this Matrix Biolage Raw Rebotify Clay Mask. This is for flat, fine hair. I picked this up because I'm hoping it gives me more volume, but it, honestly, it looks, and well, it doesn't smell like it, but it looks like a face clay mask, <laughs> to be honest, um, but it's for your hair. Same process. This is huge. It's like 400 milliliters. It's a massive thing. My last one I had, I think it was 400 milliliters as well, and it's lasted me like two years. So, I mean, it's it takes a while to go through one, but I'm on my last legs of that other one. I've only got a few uses left, so I figured I'd pick Another one up that'll last me another two years and I don't have to worry about picking it up at all. The next thing I got is for me, this is the Matrix Biolash Styling Texture sh Texture Sap, uh, a buildable definition gel. Um, this one is for me because, oh, oh geez, I haven't opened it yet. It looks like maple syrup. <laughs> like you just, yeah, it looks, it smells like a salon, but it looks like a, a, a maple syrup. So for me, uh, with this gel, uh, because I like the tousle look, I like a little bit less hold. So I like putting just a texturizer. I'm using Bedhead little blue container one right now, but I like the texture of this because you put it in your hair and it gives you that scrunchy volume look without feeling hard and sticky because I don't use a huge amount. The next thing I got was this Verb Volume and Texture Trio. This one comes with a shampoo, a conditioner, and a volume dry texture spray. This was, I think, 70% off. 
I think it was like $25 for all three. And usually one of these is like $25. And you can usually, like, it, it's a lot. So I figured, you know, I, I want to try the Verve Volume stuff. I've used the Ghost, the Ghost shampoo and conditioner, which was okay. But I don't think it did anything for my hair because it's not meant to. But this one with the Volume, it's a weightless lift volume shampoo and conditioner so I, I wanted to try it out and for 70% off for a Sephora brand. I'm going to try the uh, volume texture spray to see if it helps with the, getting that scrunchy texture the same way that the gel and the the light hold hair wax does for me. But yeah so I picked that up as well. Uh, the last thing I picked up is uh, Chatters usually has every time you purchase above like I think $65 or something you you have the option to purchase something else like another product for like five bucks that's usually like $20, $25. So they had this Hydra oil and this was the offer for $5. It's for skin uh, scar stretch marks, dehydrated skin, uneven skin tone, and mature skin. I think it's like bio oil. So I figured I'd try it out. I've got a couple scars and, and a couple stretch marks on my stomach because I'm getting older. But yeah, so I decided to pick that up. I mean, for five bucks, I think it was like a $20, $20 value or something. It's just a little oil. So yeah, chamomile, rosemary, and sunflower oil mixture, I guess. And they also let you choose a, a free sample. So there was three options. The other two options I think were for curls, which wouldn't do anything for us. So I picked up this Design Me Gloss Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Hydrating Shampoo, Conditioner, and Treatment Mask. Uh, it's just sample size. You probably get one or, well, for me, because I have short hair, I probably get two or three uses out of it. But if you got longer hair, probably one to two uses out of it. But yeah, that was the sample I picked. So uh, that was the haul, my hair and makeup haul I got from ColourPop and Chatters. I'm gonna make use of everything, obviously. I'm really excited about the new makeup. This is probably gonna be the last haul for me for a very long time because I don't need anything. You can see behind me. I don't need anything. <laughs> so it's probably gonna be it for a while unless um, the Bambi collection from uh, ColourPop goes on sale for like 50% off, then I might pick up some stuff from the Bambi collection because I love Bambi. But yeah, so uh, that's it for this haul. And uh, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up down below. I'm also experimenting a little with my channel, so there's gonna be some randomness happening uh, over the next few weeks. I'm not guaranteeing any type of schedule or anything because I don't know what's gonna happen, but stay tuned so hit that subscribe button if you want to be and the bell next to it if you want to be notified when i post new content and let me know what you think of all the content and any suggestions you want to see don't forget to leave them down in the comments below all right we'll see you next time bye